Yo, what's up guys? It's me, it's your boy Zeldon, and today I'm going to teach you how to play World of Warcraft on your mobile device, your phone, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to teach you how to do it, and it's uh, pretty simple. Okay, first of all, uh, what we need is Steam Link. I'm not going to, you know, go into all the details on how to get Steam Link. Uh, I mean, basically just go to the Google Play Store or App Store and download Steam Link. Um, you're going to have to set up Steam Link to link up with your PC and all that stuff. There's probably other uh, guides out there for that stuff, so this is going to be a long video anyways, so uh, I'm not going to go ahead and show you all that stuff. So you can see I'm playing on my Samsung Galaxy S8 here, and we actually have a pretty slow connection up here in my recording area, so I don't think I'm going to be able to show you like any gameplay or anything, but uh, just for the purposes of setting up all this stuff. Um, it should be fine. Hopefully, hopefully the connection doesn't drop out too much or anything, but I'm pretty sure it should be fine. So here we go. Let's connect. We're connected at least. And yeah, it's not perfect, but uh, yeah, this is what we're looking at. So when you connect at first, um, you basically get this Xbox controller layout by default for a big picture. And uh, you can use the buttons or you can actually use the mouse by just dragging by default you're using a trackball it's like a trackball mouse so you don't like just tap you know you can't really just tap anywhere by default you basically have to uh, drag across the screen to move the cursor around and stuff like that which I prefer you can set it up to do the tap sort of thing if you want but uh, I prefer this this method personally and uh, let, me, let me show you guys what we're gonna be looking at by the end here this is what our end result should be. So this is how this is what I've worked on. And this is uh, all our hotkeys. This is our movement and all this stuff. This is what we're going to be using by the end of this tutorial for playing World of Warcraft. And as you can see, we have quite a bit of hotkeys. The numbers one through six, including the tilde hotkey, Q and E and Z, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it's. This is what we're going to be using by the end, and by default, it's it's going to take a while to get there. I'm actually going to export my config uh, so you guys can actually use my config if you like. Obviously, uh, you guys might you can change the hotkeys yourself. I can show you uh, basically show you how to do that in a moment here. Um, basically, what we want to do is go click on this cog wheel here, and then go to base configurations, and then mm -hmm. from here. We go to desktop configuration. That's what we use. That's the configuration you use for playing the game. And then, yeah, this is a uh, all the stuff we're using. This is like the end result of all of our customization. This is where you can go and change your hotkeys and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, this is uh, by default. You you don't get all this. You get uh, you basically you get like a bare bones setup with a few hotkeys here and there. So I'll show you guys how to get to this point. Um, and yeah, the big config, big picture configuration, this is what you use to actually navigate, navigate to this area of Steam. So if you want to change anything about the navigation of big picture of, of the Steam overlay, you can change that there if you want. But uh, I, I just keep it as default and uh, we're just going to be working with our desktop configuration here. Okay, so... What we want to do is, I want to show you guys what it looks like when, by default, like when you, actually when, by default, I believe there is, you have like no hotkeys or anything for desktop configuration. So what we want to do is go into here, go to browse configs and then go to templates. And then here we can scroll all the way down to keyboard, WASD and mouse. And this is, this is the, the base template that I've been been using for, for this particular my setup my hotkey configuration so we'll go ahead and apply this configuration and you guys can see basically what you have to start with if you want to go ahead and um, do this all yourself do all the customization yourself this is what you can do go ahead and apply that uh, default keyboard and mouse configuration and then uh, let me show you uh, what what you start off with here uh, minimize big picture there we go so yeah <laughs> it doesn't even have the WASD there by default you actually have to manually go and drag it on the screen and all that stuff basically all you have is uh, the d-pad there with which isn't actually for directions it's just one two three and four and then uh, 
uh, space bar for jump, F, R, and E tab up there. Yeah, it's, by default, yeah, they, uh, they, they really could uh, offer a better default option. Uh, Valve could, but yeah, this is what you get. That's there it is. That's what you get. <laughs> so uh, yeah, if you want to go ahead and do use that and then customize it to your liking, you can go ahead and do that. But um, I'm gonna show you guys how to, you know, it's, I'm gonna give you my config so you don't have to bother with all that. You can actually go and change my config to your liking, which I would recommend doing, because obviously we're not gonna probably not gonna have the same key lines and all that stuff. But um, yeah, you don't, I would definitely not recommend starting from scratch because it's a lot of dragging of buttons here and there and all that stuff. But here's what I'm working with. Um, I'm gonna, actually, let me, that's not the right config. Let me uh, go ahead and open up or pull up my, my config here in a moment. But as you can see here, like by default, it, it gives you like, this is all set up for like first person shooters or something, I believe. As you can see here, like uh, there's a flashlight button, R, reload, E, use. So I'm pretty sure it's set up for, I don't know, like Fortnite or something by default. Who knows? But um, yeah. yeah. I'm going to go up and load up my personal config again and apply that. And uh, we'll go ahead and explain everything here. So basically, uh, I think in total, I don't know, how many buttons do I have? I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 4, uh, like 16 buttons or something? I don't know. We have a lot of buttons on the screen. And they don't really actually take up too much space. So uh, this is, as you see here in the middle of the screen, this is kind of what you have to work with for all your buttons. You can kind of ignore when it says like right trigger, left trigger, and all that stuff. Left stick, right stick. Um, that's just like what they are by default, but you can change those to whatever. Like uh, I'm using the left trigger, left button and all that stuff for like basically, they're all mapped to keyboard buttons. So you can kind of ignore that. I know it's kind of confusing seeing like the X, A, Y, B and all that stuff. Basically try to ignore that and just look at um, what's actually bound to those buttons. Okay. And uh, also, you do have these other buttons in the middle, like uh, these big touchpad buttons that are like for like PlayStation controllers and stuff. You can use those um, if you want, but they do take up a lot of screen space. And then you have this right analog stick as well, which you could use for extra buttons, but again, that takes up a lot of screen space. But yeah, those are your possibilities. Okay. Moving on here, we have, okay, I have like F5 and F6. F5 and F6 are my buttons for swapping my uh, my next action bar and previous action bar. So to swap your action bar to the next one, that's F5 and F6. That's what I use for my keybinds in game. And then I have um, open bags as I, because I use B as actually one of my ability keybinds. So my open bags is I um, and then I actually use my scroll wheel for targeting so scroll up is my basically my tab I use that for targeting which I, I highly recommend if no one uh, if anyone out there is a wild WoW player and has never actually tried using scroll wheel for targeting it's it's great um, and then many for escape self-explanatory map for M those are like this start and select buttons by default and then we have all these extra hotkeys over here for one, two, three, four, five, six, and then F3 and F4. Those are my like uh, my mount, and F3 is my call pet on my hunter. So that's uh, those are those buttons right there. And then we have Z as like the right stick. I'm not even gonna. It's it's, it's it's technically the like when you push in your right analog stick. That's the button that we're using there for that hotkey. And then Q, E, and the tilde, or exit marquee, and jump for space. Jump is, you know, also important. And um, one thing I'm not 100% sure about is uh, right here, I'm using the arrows because I feel like keyboard turning is the way to go in for playing this on a phone, but I'm not. I was messing around with strafing, but 
uh, I don't know, it felt kind of clunky. Maybe I just need to get used to it. Right now I'm using keyboard turning, which obviously is not, it's not very great for anything, especially if you're playing on a PVP server. <laughs> but yeah, I might swap back to WAS and D, who knows. But right now I'm using the arrows for keyboard turning because uh, I, I need to, I need to, this is all, this is all my, this is all version 1.0. I don't, I, it's probably gonna be more tweaks. I'm probably gonna release a version 2.0 at some point or 1.1 with with little bit of tweaks here and there um this, this is the d-pad i have uh scroll up and left out and scroll up and left out and scroll down again as we said as i said i use the scroll wheel for uh targeting so that's i use alt plus scroll wheel for zooming and then these other buttons right here those are my consumables so i have my potions and my food on, the, on those hotkeys right there and that's basically the gist of it. We have quite a few hotkeys at our disposal. And it, I would say it doesn't really take a lot of screen space, personally. Um, so yeah, next let's go ahead and show you what it looks like in game. I'm not, I don't, I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to play in game very well from here. As you can see, like it's already like kind of artifacting a little bit because my connection up here is very weak up in my recording area. So I'm probably going to just go ahead and cut the recording here and uh, probably go ahead and do the gameplay section somewhere else <laughs> with a better connection. But yeah, there's, oh, there's one hockey I didn't explain the mouse button to up there. Um, so as you know, in World of Warcraft, if you hold down the right mouse button, uh, that just basically, basically makes it so your character kind of turns and looks in the direction that you you move your mouse. So I have actually a toggle button set up for that. So if we hit our mouse button two button here, it actually toggles on, uh, like basically toggles as if we are holding down the right mouse button. So that's kind of a good way for turning. So maybe I can use that instead of and go back to WAS and D instead of using keyboard turning. I don't know. We're gonna play around with this. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is not gonna work very well from up here, but uh, let's just get in game for a second and we'll, 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 we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is even, look, look how bad this connection is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is not gonna be playable. But just real quick, let me go ahead and, and explain how we uh, how we get all this stuff on the screen in the first place. Because, uh, yeah. Anyway, you can also change your mouse here. You can go to direct cursor if you want, which basically makes it so you're you're, you're using like a touch screen. So wherever you tap, that's where your mouse will click. I don't really like it. I don't think it works very well. I prefer the trackpad, but some people do actually prefer the direct cursor. So if you're one of those guys, you can go ahead and do that I'm, I'm sticking with the trackpad I'm not really sure how the other trackpad works I haven't really used that one but I'm using the default right now and over here on the left you can disable or enable the controls and then we can go into our layout and this is uh this is basically what you start with so because by default obviously it's not gonna go ahead and place your buttons all nice and neat like I have mine set up you actually have to do that all manually unless you use my config of course um, so yeah, if I wanted to, I could go like, for example, take this right analog stick and put it somewhere. But uh, yeah, like I said, that takes up a lot of screen space. And the same with those, uh, the trackpad controls, those take up a lot of screen space. So uh, I think this is basically our maximum potential without to, without taking up way too many, too much screen space here. All right, I'm gonna cut the uh, video here and then we'll do a little gameplay thing in uh in a moment because yeah this this is way too laggy look at the, uh yeah yeah okay i'll be back with the gameplay section in a moment all right guys we are back with some gameplay unfortunately the internet gods were not uh cooperating today and my connection is still really slow uh, the network test says I'm only getting a 3 megabit uh, connection to my PC, even though I'm sitting basically right on top of my router. So, yeah, 
I, at first I was thinking, okay, maybe I just uh, wait until this is better. And then I thought, well, actually, you know, there's always videos out there with people um, is showing everything off in the best case scenario. So let's go ahead and, uh, you know, chill this off in one of the, uh, the worst possible scenarios. How playable is this in the worst possible scenario? So here we go. Uh, so as you see already, um, most important thing here is your MB2 button there. I have that. Yeah. Oh, wait. And, and the, uh, I also made a few changes. <laughs> so I made a few changes. I went back to WASD with strafe left and straight right because with our mouse button, our right mouse button toggle, we can actually uh, just move around the camera easily by dragging the screen this way. So, yeah. Well, no more keyboard turning. Um but yeah, here we go. Uh, let's do. We're gonna have some combat here. You know, just take out some random mobs. It's pretty simple. Like this, this works really well. Um, yeah, even with uh, the really crappy connection, it's still very much playable. I mean, if I weren't on a PvP server, I'd be fine with this. But yeah, the fact that I'm on a PvP server, uh, I, this is it's a bit scary having this crappy of a connection and being out in the contested territory, but it works. It works pretty well. Um, one thing I definitely do need to adjust and uh, uh, actually pay no attention to the the layout here. I did actually go and adjust this after I recorded this video. Actually, let me throw in a clip right here real quick. All right, so I went and, uh, as you saw before, the Steam button was basically right over my health bar and everything, so I went and moved that, and I moved the other little button on the right a little bit, and the jump button and the F4 button, so they're in a bit more accessible places. So anyway, yeah, uh, as you may have saw before, F4 is my mount up hotkey, so I use that to mount up the, you know, and everything else just well, works perfectly. My mouse wheel up is my target key, Use that to target, send my pet with my tilde, hunter's mark key, and then, you know, throw down uh, aim shot, serpent sting, all that good stuff. And it's uh, very easily playable. One thing you do have to make note of and pay attention to is when you have your mouse button too toggled, um, then you have, then you can't loot because you don't have a cursor anymore. So you have to untoggle your mouse button too to go ahead and loot again and then you know toggle it back on for your your camera movements and stuff toggle it off to loot and toggle it back on and yeah it's like basically perfect movement even with this really crappy 3 megabit uh, connection to the PC it's it's decently playable yeah graphically it looks terrible but <laughs> uh, playability is is pretty good actually uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this uh, Steam Link thing right now. So uh, yeah, uh, I do want to get a big shout out to Really Bad Penny Stocks on uh, Reddit. He's the person who uh, first made a post about playing um, WoW from his mobile device. And uh, yeah, it, it inspired me to do this. Like I said, um, I have made a Steam controller and other random controller profiles for other MMOs in the past, so I'm, I'm very much uh, adept at doing this sort of thing. So that's why uh, this probably probably looks a lot better than any other layout you'll see, because I think I'm the like one of the only people in the world that actually uh, actually messes with Steam controller and Steam uh, profiles and all that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I think it looks really good and it's very much playable. So. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys uh, learned something here. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave me questions in the comments or whatever. And uh, yeah, go ahead, throw me a subscribe or whatever. Follow me on Twitch. Subscribe to me on Twitch if you're feeling feeling like yeah, you got a Twitch Prime burning in your pocket. And uh, yeah, thanks. I'll see you guys next time in the next video. Peace. Oh yeah, and as far as the next video goes, I think I might try to look into like uh, more mobile ui friendly mobile add-ons and stuff like that because yeah obviously the uh ui is definitely not uh definitely not looking very good here but uh, yeah we'll see maybe i'll do that for the next video peace ggs